up, you guys? How is everybody doing? Being quarantined, stuck in the house, whatever it is that you guys may be doing, those of you that may have to work. Um, I do still have to work, so I'm still working every day and trying to get these readings out for you. I had this um, request to do a reading on Gabriel Fernandez, so that is what I am going to be doing today. I'm going to see what messages he has for us that um, pops out in the cards. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to actually get into the details um, or if I just wanted to see what messages he had to tell us through the cards, so I guess I'm just going to do a little bit of both because I can't really decide, so I'm just kind of shuffling. Um, to see what cards pop out for us um, and see what messages Gabriel has to tell us. I did watch a little bit of it because um, I hadn't seen it and I am into the true crime myself. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty, I was pretty pissed off um, again because I don't know how people can do this to children. Um, you know, for those of you that don't know, he was actually tortured uh, by his mother and and her boyfriend. Um, and from what i seen, I guess he was forced to stay in like a cabinet type of thing. I believe he was eight years old. And he ended up passing away due to all, um, I guess like the trauma to his body um, from being tortured. So we're going to see what messages Gabriel has to tell us today um, and what comes out in the cards. It's a little bit different of a style of what I normally do. But it's just what I feel is the right thing to do. Um, since we kind of already know what the judgment was, the boyfriend, he got life in prison. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, he got sentenced to death. He got the death penalty. penalty, And then the mom, she got life without parole. So, just to kind of, for those of you that don't know, um, I think that there, there's a series... The trial series is on Netflix, so if you guys want to go check that out, you really should. I mean, it's very interesting. It's sad, and it piss it just pissed me off. It broke my heart. I just feel a certain type of way about it, so that's just how it is. So we have a few cards here that have came out. First of all, we have the Page of Cups, um, and then alongside the Seven of Swords, okay? Now, the Page of Cups, to me, in this reading is more or less like, okay, well... This is somebody who is what? They're getting ready for a new love, right? So brings the boyfriend in, okay? The mother brings the boyfriend in. And then I look at the Seven of Swords. And this particular one, this is why I love this deck so much um, when doing true crimes. Because we can look at the Seven of Swords and its general meaning, okay? Which the Seven of Swords, the general meaning for that is like betrayal, dishonesty, running away, blah, 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 right? So with Gabriel, he probably did have the feelings of running away. He probably did have the feelings of betrayal, right? But it was like, he had all this hope, right? That maybe she would change. Maybe she would love me. You know, what can I do? Like thinking that it's himself. And it really is um, disturbing, I guess, for this particular card to come out next to the irresponsible mother who's just worried about her new love is the fact that if you look at this coffin, it's like, okay, well, she's basically designed this coffin for him, aka the cabinet that he had to stay in. It's disgusting and it's sickening, okay? We have the Ten of Swords that comes out, and look at this, okay? With the Ten of Swords coming out, okay, this is very painful. This is going to be your rock bottom. This is, he doesn't know what else to do. He's just, Gabriel feels so defeated, but yet he has that hope, that little bit of hope that's coming in. And the Ten of Swords is like, I don't think that you're going to come come out of this, you know? Um, but right after that is the Ten of Cups. He just wanted a happy family. He just wanted to be loved, right? He wanted, even though he went through all this shit, okay, from his mother and the boyfriend and whomever else was involved, he just wanted this love, this support from his family. And if you notice, it's right underneath the Page of Cups, right? The one who's too into the boyfriend doesn't want the kid, doesn't want the son, okay? She's over here putting him in his coffin, basically. She don't give a shit, all right? Then you have the Six of Wands, okay? Look at the Six of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right? This is, this is going to be like good news, whatever, success, victory, that kind of thing, right? He's got that now. 
He's in heaven. He's got that now. He's got that happy family. He's got that loving support, right? He's around spirits who love him, who are there for him. Maybe it's, um, you know, family that have already passed away. Who knows? But he's up there with God. He, oops. See, I just flipped the card. He's up there with God. Like, yep, I got my success story. But what about you? What about you? Look at the ace of swords here. Isn't that scary? It's disgusting, right? This is you got new conflict coming in. So now you guys screwed up. You killed him because for whatever reason, you didn't want him. And I feel like the mother is the master manipulator on this. Tell us about the boyfriend. Gabriel, what, do you, what about the boyfriend? That's what I want to know. I want to know about this uh, Ace of Swords, this new conflict. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Disgusting Queen of Wands. Right? Disgusting Queen of Wands. Just look at this. Like, hello. Come on over. Come on. Listen to me. Right? She's got the confidence. She thinks that she rules the roost. Okay? And then look at this. Seven of Wands. Let me look at this picture here. Seven of Wands. It's a forest. It's just like an empty forest this Seven of Wands is. It's a competition. It's a competition. What was she jelly because she wasn't getting all the full attention because she had Gabriel? And maybe he didn't like Gabriel? I don't understand. I don't understand what we're missing here because she's like, hello. She's in control. Hmm. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think that the sentencing that was given, um, if you guys think that that was fair, all right? Do you think it was fair that she got a plea deal and the boyfriend did it? Um, do you guys think that it was the mother that was the manipulator? Look at this. Lovers, but it comes upside down. They were in it together. Jesus criminy. They were in it together. The lovers. Absolutely. But I think that she carried the reins in it. What else do you need us to know, Gabriel? Hmm. We've got the wheel. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got the wheel of fortune upside down. Look at this. Yeah. They were both doomed. It was going to come out easy peasy. Yep. They were doomed. Justice, you know, was coming. They were going to be caught and that was it. They, I don't know if they didn't think it through. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe they did drugs. I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe fortune. Wow. What else do you need us to know? Three of Pentacles. Check this out. It was teamwork. They were both in on it. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. New income. <clears throat> this is new income. Like new investments, a new job. Um, you know, something to that effect. And I think that Gabriel was in the way. He was in the way of what... I don't know what they were trying to do. Maybe they were trying to be drug dealers. I don't know what the hell they were trying to do. But he was in the way. He was in the way of money for them. Why is it always greed? Why is it always money that's in the way? I don't understand what is wrong with people. All right, let's see. Is there anything else? Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Judgment card. Of course. Of course. He got that. He got that judgment card. They're all screwed. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, there's not really much to say about the case, you know. I mean, it's already out there. The facts are there. But, you know, just as clarifiers, she was the freaking manipulator. They did it as teamwork. And the poor kid suffered. And suffered and suffered and suffered. But yet he was still a loving kid. He still wanted to be loved. He wanted that affection so bad. And it's just a shame. 
that it happened like that. It's sickening. All right, I have, um, also I have my angel cards here. So, Gabriel, what else do you want us to know? Within the next few weeks, okay. Within the next few weeks, what? Woo! All right, all right. Remain positive. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. After he passed, check, oh my god. Okay, look. Big happy changes were coming to him, okay? He had to remain positive while going through all this shit, right? Because he knew that there was big happy changes coming. He knew within the next few weeks it was going to be happening. Come promise and recovery. Holy smokes. He has no pain anymore. He has no fear. He has no regrets. Look at this. Don't stop. He is so glad that his story made it out there for people to see for people to understand that you know this shit does happen but he's okay he's he's in recovery he's done he doesn't feel any pain don't stop spreading the love don't stop spreading the word you know it's got to get out there people need to know wow incredible is there anything else gabriel come on Check this out. Look for a sign. So, it's really weird that this card came out because um, there's people questioning. Right now, there's people that are questioning maybe a loved one that you've already passed. Like, that has passed. It doesn't have to do with Gabriel, but maybe it's similar or you've watched this Gabriel Fernandez case. And so, you're thinking of somebody and you're like, gosh, if only I could have a sign. Like, this is so cool. Maybe you wanted a reading. Maybe you wanted closure, right? But you can't afford a reader or whatever it may be. Maybe you don't trust a reader, right? This card that came out is look for that sign from spirit. If you, if you want to talk to somebody who's passed away, do it. This is so bizarre that this is happening. Um... This card is so bizarre that it just comes out. There is somebody, or maybe a few of you, or whomever's going to watch this. You guys, yes, you wanted to know about the Gabriel case, but you were feeling like there was going to be a message for you. You were supposed to be here at this very moment to get this message. Just look for this sign. Look for the sign from spirit. They're always there. Never question it, okay? Once you start doubting it and questioning it, then guess what? It's not going to happen. Why? Because you're not going to see it. It could be happening, but you weren't seeing it, okay, guys? So this reading was very, very powerful. I knew that there was a reason that I had to do this, even though I kind of already knew what had happened by watching this series. So I didn't really feel like doing a reading on it, I guess, would really make too much sense because we already have, I guess, the facts out there. I mean, this does validate what came out. So if you guys were looking for that, the cards do go into play with that. Um, I'm so glad that I chose to do the angel answers, though. And I knew there would be a twist on it. So guys, please continue to look for the signs. If you are missing somebody who has passed away, they're always there to protect you, guide you. The angels are there to protect you and guide you. All right. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. Thank you so much for staying this long. Um, comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts, your opinions on this um, true crime case. Um, just because, you know, I'm in it. If there's any other ones that you guys want me to do, comment below and let me know on those, all right? So, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.